In this module, we're going to do a demo of creating Azure policies, uh, applying tags to resources, and configuring resource locks. Okay, so we start here right at the uh, at our Azure portal uh, with our private cloud having freshly been deployed. Now we went through the wizard um, to deploy the private cloud object and when we were creating the resource group object before that, uh, we didn't assign any tags. We were, we were just trying to get, get to the good stuff, and get the private cloud deployed. But as we add more resources, it becomes super helpful to have a, a well thought out tagging strategy for how you're assigning tags to resources, categorizing them. Um, these tags can be used to target cost reports. They can be used to trigger automation. They can be used for all sorts of, of good things. Um, so now that we've deployed our private cloud, we'll go back and try to tag those resources. We'll start with our resource group itself. And I will click here to add a tag. And for everything we've deployed here, we're going to give it an environment tag, tagging it as production, so that when we can run a cost report, we can roll up all the resources that are, that are generating costs associated with that production environment. So we'll give it a tag name of environment and set a value to production. Cool. Tag the resource group. Now that tag is only applicable to the resource group object itself, unfortunately. There's no automatic inheritance of those things. Like here, we'll look at that bastion object. Part of the resource group, no tag. So fortunately, we have a thing called Azure Policy. And Azure Policy can let us set some compliance standards for our subscriptions and uh, remediate against those standards if need be. Uh, but what we'll use it for today is to enforce that, that inheritance of tags from a resource group. So I'm going to go back here to our search bar, type in policy. We'll pop over to Azure Policy. We're going to create a new policy assignment. So assignments, assign policy. And we're going to use a built-in policy definition uh, created just for this purpose, inheriting a tag. Type in inherit. Uh, inherit a tag from the resource group. Perfect. On the parameters tab, it will ask us, you know, what is the tag name we're going to look for? And that's environment. That's good. And now on the remediation tab, we can go and create a remediation task that will go and make sure that any, re any resources that have been configured um, will have that tag applied to them. Once you create the policy, we won't be able to create a resource in that resource group without that tag automatically being assigned, but that doesn't do us any good for the 18 or so objects that are there already. So we'll create that remediation task. And that's the policy we're going to remediate. And it's going to create a system assigned managed identity to make this change. And it's going to ask for a location for that identity. Just to keep things consistent, we'll put this in West US as well. And scroll down. And review and create. All looks good there. We'll create. And we'll let that policy uh, apply. First thing we can do is go to the Compliance tab and see progress against that policy. And when we first create the assignment, it's going to take a little while uh, for the for policy to run and assess all the objects out there. So it's in a not started state. Go to the Remediation tab. Um, we see the policy is there. Uh, we can remediation tasks. We can see the remediation tasks in progress. It started off in an evaluating state. Um, and when the remediation tasks starts, it's going to immediately trigger a uh, evaluation of policy, and then it will remediate as needed. You can see the remediation task finished, and we remediated 16 out of 17 objects. Uh, let's take a look at what was skipped. It looks like it's our private cloud object itself that, that was enabled to tag. That seems to be a bug right now. Um, remediation tasks will not apply a tag to a private cloud object. We get an error about um, it not being able to resolve the object type. Um, we've raised an issue with Microsoft. We hope we'll have a clarification why that's not working and maybe even get it fixed. But for now, we'll just work around it. We'll go back to the homepage there. We'll go into start with the resource group. We'll look to see, you know, we, we did tag the resource group manually. Let's look at the bastion object to make sure it got a tag. It did. Cool. Back. The private cloud object, you know, as we saw, failed on that, so we don't have a tag there. Um, what's interesting, though, is that Policy will, will take effect any time a change is made to the object. So if we make a change to the private cloud object, that tag should automatically apply. Um, the easiest way to trigger that kind of reevaluation is to add a tag object, though. So what we'll try is just creating a blank tag, environment with no value, and save it. And that's enough for policy to take effect and, bam, automatically apply the production value to the tag. So we should be compliant. We'll go check. 
policy. And yep, 40 out of 40. Compliance, de- uh, compliance date, fully compliant. Cool. There's one more thing we want to look at here under resource groups. And that's that's locks. And this is a silly thing. Um, but anytime you create, anytime you try to delete an object in Azure, you're going to get a prompt saying, hey, do you really want to do this? Or type yes to really do this. Um, and that ought to be enough, right? In a perfect world, <laughs> you'd see that and they go, oh, I don't, in fact, want to delete this object. I want to delete a different one. But who amongst us has not been caught, you know, auto-clicking through? Creating an Azure lock is a way to you know, put one more hurdle in our way, just one more check to prevent having a very, very bad day. So I'm going to add a lock here. I'll give it a name like uh, prod AVS lock. So the type to uh, delete. So this will prevent us from deleting an object in the resource group. Uh, a read only, if we set it to a read only type, we wouldn't be able to make any changes to the resource group. That, that's not quite what we want here. We'll hit OK, and now that is an effect. Uh, let's test it. Let's, uh, well, Bastion's first. Let's try deleting this resource. OK, delete. Do you really want to do it? Yep, of course. Oh, good. It jumped in and prevented me from deleting the object. All right, that is Azure tagging, Azure policy, and resource locks. So to recap, in that demo, we added tags, we worked with Azure Policy and Remediation, and we created resource locks. Um, In the next module, we will go through configuring identity sources in vCenter.